wasn't for this, I might have actually been able to avoid it just enough. Thanks for messing around with Vampire Survivors Beswick 239. We're heading back up to the top to finish off the starter characters as making sure they get up to the same three stages done as everyone else after I change the parameters. Antonio Belpiece will be heading over to good old Green Acres and whooping it good. So, the reason I switched how it worked is because it was just annoying with the tags. Hey, Armadillo. Da -da 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 -da. You only get so much space for tags, and with three characters and three stages, it really beefed up the amount of things I could put down. Well, limited the amount of things I could put down. And there's my passives for the stage. What will be my other two weapons? Or am I secretly going for a solo weapon challenge? Ooh. Want as much power going out as possible. Fire wand? Who gets fire wand? That's silly. Exactly. When was the last time I saw fire wand? With Arca? Gotta fix that ASAP. And a starburst right away, go figure. Look at that whip in action. Whip it good. Well, don't really need any of those right now, but grab them while I got them. So Antonio should not be too particularly difficult. Neither should really anyone at this point. That way I can go back to nice, safe, consistent... Oops. No dumb gimmicks, just solid play and solid characters. Brand of Green Acres is hard, but Antonio is Antonio. Threat shot. That would totally boost up the viewership on the video for some reason. Until it doesn't. Oh, Metal Claw. Yeah, now we run riot. Thanks anyone who has watched this far. I got some Holo Stream. Well, it is Holo Stream, but really it's Holo Cure. Streams of Vampire Survivors type game going on this week. Going on the day I post this video, actually. In fact, I will be streaming that as this video gets posted. Ooh, time is a wild concept. Because I'm actually recording this one a day in advance instead of the day off for once. Yay! Look at that damage already. Crazy good. Well, I could evolve the Bloody Tear already. Or not. Huh. That's the advantage of just some solid Antonio. You get high damage, and it's consistent with infinite pierce, good clearance. The whip is just really nice. And Antonio is a solid, if unremarkable, character. Sure, other characters can scale wildly out of control or scale better faster. Sometimes simplicity has a strength all its own. Anyway, back to Holo Cure, which I will be streaming as this gets posted. So, watch that if you want. If not, continue with some Vampire Survivors action. It is a Vampire Survivors based game, based instead on the Holo Live Talents of Cover Corporation, a group of VTuber ladies. And it's pretty fun, a lot harder, some interesting items, and weapon effects. Has its own unique style and stance, with the bargain price of being completely free. Not even Vampire Survivors can top that. And there's a new update coming sometime this year. Speaking of which, it's been quite a time since there's been a Vampire Survivors update, huh? I've actually almost cleared the entirety of the third wave in that time, so that'll be close to almost three months. Who knows how much we'll consider. It hasn't even been a small update. That road map has not been clean in house. Oh, hey, there's a drowner. And health is maxed, and I need to stop leveling. Need to, but I'm gonna have to. The vacuum isn't. Hoping for a rosary to grab. Or maybe a magic grenade. 
would make no sense, but hey, there's been weeder. Okay, slowly go north. Don't want to run into... Money, money, money. I don't want to run into a rosary if it does spawn until I can get brown or back on screen. 10% might. Hmm. I wonder why it gets 1% when so many others get only one. Probably because it doesn't have any innate pierce. But you can level that up off limit break and other stuff. And the bouncy effect from Waltz of Pearls, too. Plus, it's doing like twice the damage of anything else I'm firing out, so. That's nice. I don't see any bosses yet. That's peculiar. Oh, there's a chest. Will you evolve for me, chest? I guess I just destroyed it instantly. Yeah, evolution, hellfire. Now I can actually level up. Damn, look at that damage go off. Oh, an amount right away, beautiful. It is a lot. 1% is a lot when you're hitting for 200. That's a whole 2 damage on top of it. Ooh, most things don't scale that high on HP. Wow, another one. Another barrage of bone towers. The whip is bloody. And there's my health back. And even a better chance of getting my full blooded level up. Oh, I have to speed, I have to speed. Well, that's high enough that Hellfire Barrage is going out basically endlessly now. That's nice. I am recording. Boy, would that have been stanky if I wasn't. Woohoo, random always time. That was three chests in like two minutes. Less than a minute, actually, I think. That was like 8.55. Get a big red gem. Yeah, those gems were not as big as I thought. Still plenty red, though. So interesting comparison I was noting was I was doing a no move challenge on Oh look here yesterday, no not yesterday, two days from ago from when I'm posting this, which was yesterday when I'm recording this Is that the gems don't sort of condense the way they do in Oh look here compared to here There's a limit to how many gems will be on the screen here How many will be on the screen here so they'll start condensing down into red gems Or any gem that's on the field on oh, look here that just doesn't happen so it actually makes the no move challenge in theory easier because you can still get gems eventually and level up. It's also harder because there's a lot more unavoidable stuff there. Like, oh boy. Thank you. Building for survivability in Vampire Survivors is something you do for more Memen. Well, building it for an Holo here is blatantly necessary for some things. A lot of leech, a lot of defensive items, which normally I like. But, you know, the games have different purposes. I mentioned this on stream, but in Vampire Survivors, your goal is really just to get strong enough to put your controller down as soon as possible. Oh, look here, that's not happening. Anything other than the first stage, it's going to be a nightmare the whole way through. Even if you get super defensive setup and a ton of damage. Oh, I almost got Twilight Requiem on accident. None of those are helpful. Any sure would be. Bloody whip. Oh, it doesn't affect Fuala Fuala for some reason. Critical hits. Nothing for Hellfire. Air Bondi would be okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's a nope. Mountain Fire. Art of Fire. Wait, wasn't Metal Claw and Crit? Oh well. I don't know. I think Waltz Pearls for Bouncing Hellfire with its damage. Pretty good idea. Yeah, it's in for a 300, so constant 300 damage shots across the map. Google of Illusions would be better over time. Or, well, period, but hey, let's not go Google of Illusions at every circumstance we can. 
And then again, now you're going to pick up an empty tome every time, so... Obviously, some things are just set in stone. You know, it's nice just having such a consistent high amount of damage. Not taking, you know, spinach all the time. Really makes you long for the days of hitting consistent high damage. Boy, the big fuzzy fists are going slow. And I got healing on the back end of it. Gotta get that leech going. Well, let's see, it's 10% every 10 levels, or is it 20? Wow. A lot of characters would have had trouble with that. A lot wouldn't. But, like I said, that's Antonio's strength for you. It's consistent. Bloody tear will tear off the enemies. And that might bonus will keep scaling for a good while. Another 96 might. Quite a number. Wanted to go, you know, Corona's box, beef it up even a bit more. But also, I wanted to heal. Now, I'm not turning off Empty Tome. Spinach is just better, so. Oh, that's a quite a number of Aura Logan, huh? Yeah, it's sort of the whole thing I wanted to do with the third wave is just sort of tune down the direct power of our character, add access to and equipment options, show them off a bit more in less overpowering circumstances. Then you get to watch how that plays out. For some, it didn't matter. For others, it mattered considerably. And Toasty was there. Still showing off to a ridiculous degree in incredibly odd circumstances. Well, no, granted I didn't overly eliminate Toasty, but hey. I didn't super optimize it the way Dex did for his show off of it. Hitting those pots for billions? Ha. Possible get the full hit since they're based on how many times they get hit, not the heaviness of the hits. That's why you can sort of finagle it. Sort of like how I was doing with the Reaper in the end. Just doing huge damage to an enemy that could take it. If you had more revives, you could just keep stocking up those numbers as high as it can possibly go. The crazy degrees. Now I'm basically unstoppable at this point. None of the enemies really do anything here. They just sort of move at you, or some might shoot at you. And their difference is in durability. Oh, giant robot. Get out of here. You sh even with damage this consistently heavy, they're still hitting hard. Dang robots. Come on, they totally look more robot-y, right? Hmm, should I grab a wake? I mean, I figured I'd be durable enough with just good old bloody tear. And the damage on Hellfire, and then Big Fuzzy Fist doing some good old knockback. Good old, good old filler words. I mean, who thinks of good old as a filler word? Usually it's uh, um, arg, arg, blarg, schmarg. Well, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Awaken to the glory that is messing around. And if I somehow get enough subscribers to membership, I don't even know what I would have membership name be. The Mez. Yeah. Frankly, the idea of having over 150 subscribers is mystifying. Considering I once spent years doing something else and got less response. Go figure. But hey, you got a network, and they're a stalker to ruin the day. And I am nowhere near that rosary, and I don't really want to grab it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pew pew, blow up them stalker. Blow up the stalker. Oh hey, I blew up the stalker. Well, there's my starting thumbnail, or starting coming up. 
Do you like those? I know I thought having something spicy happen at the start would help, you know, retain viewership for more than a minute. And I looked online and it said a good viewership retention rate should be like half the video, and I'm like getting a minute. I go, absolutely terrible. I think nothing I have retains viewership for that long. I think the longest retention I have, I was on a like three hour stream and it's like 17 minutes. Which, hey, neato for some of that. And really, Drowner again. Oh, Crab Battle's here too. Boiling alive in the heated up water caused by Hellfire and Drowner. You will join Pinchy in Homer's stomach soon. Your name is Paunchy. Hmm, this is awkward. Two golem waves, huh? That figures. Well, that's what awake's for. Really shouldn't need awake, but hey. Constant failure has taught me what the real option is. Survive. Something I clearly should have learned in Holo Cure instead of failing multiple times. I'm poor Minato Aqua. Ayanara, Game and Maid. May it clean the world elsewhere. And may it game to the top. Wherever you may roam. Oh, wow, I went way past it, and there was a rosary nearby. So I could have blasted that drowner. Hmm. Man, it doesn't feel like the heel is popping off as much as it should. Oh, wow, a bat finale? That's really nice. Oh, I need to go down to grab it. Who cares if I take a bit of damage? I'll survive. Well, not grab it, but be in its general area. Wow, this felt like way faster than it was. Well, oh, random always is random always. And the final wave is Bat Wave. Okay, that's nice and easy. They'll get knocked back by everything. So that's why the Mad Forest final wave is might actually be the easiest one in the game because they ha don't have any knockback resistance, so you can just sort of walk through them like this. Hey, heck. Might be feasible to actually beat the first stage on your first run ever. If you can just get the bloody tear. Tearing it up. Alright, and that's Antonio's run down. Imelda's is up next. Hellfire did the most. As to be expected. Alrighty, and for the second one of the third wave, it's going to be Melda over on our challenge stage, just even it out correctly. And hers is going to be Boss Rash. We're going to be going with a somewhat unorthodox build out. But well, that's every build really, if you think about it. Da -da -da. These are not what I want. Damage. Oh boy. Boy, am I going to need all the damage I can get. Because we're going with laser guns. Who needs magic when you got a laser gun? Da -da -da. Free roll. One more projectile. More phaser. Gotta destroy everything. Really hard hit. Like, oh, well, that was a ridiculous level of luck. More damage. Maximize the damage. That's what she's going for. Maximum damage. Because boy, is that going to be needed. Will it be enough, though? We shall see. And a spready shot has been found. And a weapon pickup has been weapon picked up. Alright, so just a bit of levels, and a lot more phaser, and hopefully empty tome sometime this century. It should be all good. I 
Uh -oh. okay. No, do not banish the empty tome. Select the empty tome. So ultimate power becomes ours. Wow, I ran right back into that. Oh, goody, a chicken. And with uh, fodder taken care of, it's nothing but bosses to be foddered instead. Five shots from the spread gun. Five shots. And it's not enough. Da -da -da. All right. Damage from spinach is maxed out. Will it be enough to really considerably change the paradigm of what's going on here? None of my weapons are maxed out, which is very bad. Da -da -da. They want to get these chests till I can evolve some. Phaser is almost there. Boy, you just don't want to give it to me, huh? Wow. There we go. And there's a photon storm. Let's blast them all to photons. Dig that crazy beat. And magic wand is closer, so that is next. That's four chests, so, or that's three chests, and four chests in total, so I can start grabbing some chests for a level up. Because I'm not in any danger of a limit break in here. Limit break in on a... Why did I not hit that? Gotta get more stuff on the ground. Get that pierce going. Oh, she's getting really lucky with the pickups. Huh. All right, awake. Jail of Crystal. No, instead it will be... Oh dang it, did I move past it? I think I moved past what I wanted. Oh, here it is, Walter Pearls. Right as much holy wand as I can. An endless string of attacks. Goes hard. Oh, it spawned on below me. Ooh, goody, goody, good. That's my prototype unlocked. A lot of wave clear and some decent direct damage now. Alright, even if I get a five, it'll only take me up to eight. And I didn't get a five. It's time to be cautious about them chests. Ah, uh, not enough for the nine and no banishing just yet. Not yet. Avoid the chest like the plague. Oh, plague character. Plague knight. Shovel knight collab. Ooh. Now that's one now. Get a lot of people running. Ah, the entire screen vaporized instantly. And I get faster level ups too, which will actually be a problem. As those dang Yorutans, whatever their real name is, they certainly do a scaling. Well, the regular bosses get toasted quick enough. Who knows how the end waves are going to go poorly. They're going to go poorly. That's what Awake is for. And the weapon pick up. Clearly what I intended from the start. I got a nice amount of chicken saved up. An NFT out of nowhere, basically. Really out of nowhere. I don't know why it's there. Oh, is that not a chicken? No, oh, it was just a coin. That one is definitely a chicken, though. That's also a chicken. I think there's a chicken there. It just got stuck behind the coin bag at this point. Oh, I took damage. Oopsie. Oopsie. I 
think the AI is scale too. Oh, fire breath. Timely. Yeah, not timely enough. Still, my sheer concentrated damage should be considerable. You shouldn't last too long, Ender. No rosaries, though. Also, you did way too much damage. There was a rosary there. It got stuck behind everything else. Oh, are you coughing me? Are you coughing me? Oh, I'm just getting hit by all his bloody sides. Oh, hey, a small clover. Well, I'm gonna have to grab this. Just so I can burn some of them down. Oh, Ender's down. Can't have you stalking me, stalker. Go back to Myung. Wow, why are you taking so many hits? This is way too much damage for any of you to be surviving. Oh my god, I didn't even last 10 seconds. Awful. Just an I lose button. Oh, well, that was super lucky there. Once again, no skill, only luck. I only have one revive for the Gyorut hands. I don't even have the golems taken care of. Enderowner survived way more hits than he should have, considering. What is going on? Well, this is lame. Wasn't for this, I might have actually been able to avoid it just enough to sneak through. Nope. No lucky chicken out there. I somehow won that. Oh my gosh. What a strange, strange victory. Alright, and to round us off, it's going to be Pascalina Belpice's time over in the back country. We're going to get bouncy bouncy. With a character that starts with a Rune Tracer. And we're going to be bouncy bouncy from the start. Come on, bats. Show us where we go. Get hit by the Rune Tracer so I can actually level up. Fire Wand. Yeah, bouncy Fire Wand. Fix all your mistakes. See you, laser. See you, laser. Hey, and there's my other weapon. I may fire slower, but I will fire more stuff overall because it bounces. But first, get empty tome so I can fire faster. Damage up, fire one more projectile. Gotta bounce as much bounce as it can bounce. Hey, some chickens, yay. That will clearly be the difference between life or death here. I mean, it does increase survivability, but that will increase the number of bounces because it increases the cooldown reduction by 0.2 seconds. Yes, I just created a negative out of positive. And always cool down, empty tome. Empty up the cooldown. More projectile is more damage, which I am setting up for. Or is the most damage. Not like they have health high enough that the other stuff matters right now. Eventually, I will need the spinach for bigger bats, bigger bats, and I bats. Right now, it's getting out as much raw DPS as possible. 
there as much firepower out on the field as possible. I'm talking a lot about a stage that should not be too difficult. But hey, I'm in an okay mood. I actually got a decent amount of sleep for once. So wreck my eating schedule on the back end, but hey. Raw damage is not what I'm looking for yet. Huh. That's interesting. That's some armor. Didn't look like the fire wand blasts were bouncing off of the bonus stage side stuff as much as the holy the magic wands were. Hmm. Maybe there's a limit to it in a sense. That provides the most, that provides the most. And damage on a weapon that attacks faster. One more projectile is one more bounce. Well, it's three more bounces. But it's one more projectile for three more bounces, so it's really four more hits that'll pop out. And Labrador would have been great. One more projectile. That overpowers Empty Tome, clearly. Bouncy fist. Empty tome. Hmm. Does something new not become new? Need to update some of my base descriptions. Anyway, have a triple chest arcana. You are nothing that bounces. You are though. Damage up by 10 on Magic Wand is more than Fire Wands. Damage up by 10 again. Green is filled with shots. That should not be an evolution, but imagine if it was. Oh, did you just die without dropping a chest, Boss Bass? Oh no, there it is. Boss Bass! Wow. Incredible. That is actively detrimental now. Yep, yeah, gotta stay still and let the bouncy go. If only I could go more bouncy. Oh, double chicken from the side. Will it go triple chicken? Nope, money and a vacuum. Oh, and Molison. Well, that's timely. That should be enough to get me, well, 2-8 by default, but. Will you bring me an evolution chest, boss bat? I want to evolve. And there's a rosary, just in case things get awkward. Money, money, money. I do have one level to save, but. Let's save it for later. That's odd. Did I run over one of the pads without realizing it? Why is the background switched then? Oh, they're over to the northeast. Or upper right for those of you... Well, actually, none of the maps have cardinal directions. So I suppose it could be southwest or east or... west by southwest. Huh. As maybe the screen was just too elapsed into nonsense for me to see if that happened before. There's a chest. Will it evolve? It does indeed evolve. It in fact double evolves. And could have been a triple evolution. Oh right, I had spinach too. Amount one. Too bad. Too bad. Man, that holy wand. 
It just does not stop firing. Hey, Archon Chest. Alrighty. I want more bouncing? Yeah, but I can't get it. There's no benefit to it. I'll get awake. It won't do anything, but hey, just in case, we got challenge stages done. Well, the staging name won't change anything. It's just the characters that will add onto it. No more Vampire Survivors, Rena, or whatever. And then Rena. It'll just be Antonio, Imelda, and Valpice. Escalina. Not Valpice. That's a completely wrong name. Are you here yet, Chest? No. That golden finger. No, it's just a bunch of chickens thrown up on top of one another. And it was... It was Green Acres, right, that I got the golden finger on. I didn't even post that video. I think it might have been deleted footage because I lost in the end. Uh, no, it feels like it got it posted. Since I got Cosmic Finger off it and got an evolution. Boss back, give me your secrets. Wow, another Yomalise. Summon all them planted old man. Now take the roundabout route. Don't hit that vacuum. And get the hellfire. So I can go random all ways. And win. Well, just to give it a little bit of a boost. Ah, Melisa in bonus stage. Now nothing moves. Hey, Rosary. Just clearing the stage, roll Pascalina. Pascalina does it well enough on her own. Think it's a her. It's a she. Groupy. It is her. She is bouncing. Her bouncing. Wait, it's possessive, isn't it? Well, it's, her is definitely possessive. And end at fifteen, even though I know it goes to twenty. Dang, my magic fingers did nothing but creak and break. Arthritis I've never had, despite probably spending more time on a computer than anyone who has. Strange like that. You want I had a sharp corner jutting into my wrist for years and years and years. Probably more than some of these people have been alive. Not even joking about that. Ah, oh, the power of youth is weak and pathetic. Hey, a small clover. Lucky. Might as well just chain the vacuums together. Yay, endless power. If you survive this long, you should have no trouble surviving the final waves. Not with five bazillion chickens on screen. Now it's five bazillion in one. Does luck even benefit me other than increasing pickup drop chance? Well, I guess increasing limit. No, I don't think limit break goes to four, does it? Huh. And it's not really that terribly important. Man, so many rosaries on the ground. It's crazy. Well, 100k is off the table, but. 80k looks to be feasible. 90 though. Now that's the real rabbit in the bat country. I see you bats. I will stomp you flat. 
I will put on this cap and I will clap. The sweet release of death. And another Beswick down. Hey, holy wand out damage. No future. Wow. And back to the top for 467. 468. And 469 on the Beswick. Antonio, Imelda, and Pasquina Belpiece have all been down. Be more for the family, be more for the Beswick. 1,463 to go, and going down the list, and then looping back up to the top till we're done. Thanks for watching, I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who supported the channel with a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. If you haven't, please do so. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around with the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.